What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Far Rock 22, aka Infamous Owen, Infamous underscore Owen on IG. Today I'm here to talk to you about coming to terms with certain things. You know, it's never really easy coming to terms with something. But once you come to your terms, things become a little more easier, if it makes sense. Now, there's a lot of things people got to come to terms with, you know, in life, whether it be certain situations where it becomes, you got to become accustomed to certain terms with illnesses, whether you got to be accustomed to certain terms on how people move, you know, just becoming, becoming accustomed to certain terms on how things are just going to work out. Even if you want them to work out that way or you don't want them to work out that way, it's just the, the process of it. Now, for an example, you know, I can't get into every single thing, but let me give you an example. You know, when you got love for somebody or you love someone and you see them going down like a slippery slope and every time you try to warn that person, because here's the thing, right? Sometimes you don't see what's going on. Other people can see it. For example, you ever been in a situation, right, where it is... You be with your homeboy, or your homeboy is with you. You know, y'all just walking or whatever, and you say hello to a chick or whatever, or you say hello to a group of girls, and your man point out the one that's feeling you. Now, you might not have gotten that vibe, but he's like, yo, shorty feeling you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you need to go talk to her. Shorty feeling you. You know what I'm saying? And you like, yo, I, I don't see it, but he's sorry. And then let's say if you double back and go talk to the girl or whatever, come to find out like she's you know giving you that vibe but you didn't see it and it's vice versa because sometimes you might have caught something like yo i think she want to holler at you bro you know you need to go holler at her and you, you send your man or sometimes your man be scared you like yo son trust me you're gonna get her and he ended up getting her with no problem because you saw that it was gonna turn out right so sometimes we have that feeling for people in our lives, people we know, people we deal with, people we related to. And then, you know, you might have your one of your friends, right? Cause I had a friend like that a long time ago. You know, we was young and you know, we used to hang out doing all the good stuff, you know, riding bikes, you know, hitting the city, shit like that. And then he decided to go with the gang banging route. You know what I'm saying? Go hang out with the people that's getting a rep up, you know, doing dirt in the streets you know of course when you're doing that as a young as a young kid that come with a lot of things come with the girls comes with popularity it comes with a fear in the streets you know what i'm saying but you know it's never really gonna turn out good you know it's not gonna turn out good long story short my homeboy got scarred for life you know things like that and you know not not for nothing you know what i'm saying the gang bang ain't take them out or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, life could have been different if you would have probably listened to those that, you know, that was trying to look out for you, you know? So you always have somebody that, you know, you're just trying to reach out and grab because you see them going down that slope. You see it's not going to be good, but, you know, sometimes you got to come to the terms that no matter how hard you try, people are going to do what they want to do. You know, and then it comes back to just the realization, like, you are not in control of no one's life. I can't control no one's life. I cannot make someone do something that I want them to do or don't want them to do, you know. But at the end of the day, right, you can say whatever you want. People are going to do whatever they want. The people that really listen, they might take heed to what you say because there's times where I did that and people took into account. I've taken into account on situations where people be like, yo, oh, you, that ain't you, bro. You know, you don't need to do that. You, you don't need to move like that or you don't need to be like that. You know what I'm saying? You you much better than that. You could do better. And then sometimes I got to sit back and think about that. Like, yeah, maybe that ain't me. You know, maybe that's not a good look. You know, maybe the results ain't going to be good. And then you know what? It happens for the better. It happens for the better. Now, then sometimes when... It's sometimes I wish I didn't listen. Like I said, when it came to making money or doing certain businesses or things like that, you know, I listen to people. But at the end of the day, that was just criticism. 
But if I'm doing something wrong and I know what's wrong and somebody reaches out and says, yo, oh, you, you know what you're doing ain't right. You know you could do it other ways or there's other ways. You got to listen to that. But in reality, I don't. Like, this sounds very confusing. So what I'm trying to say is that sometimes in life, right, there's going to be people that you reach out to, some people that you love and you just really want the best for them, whether they got a bad habit or they just doing some shit that you know that's going to get them in jail or get them in caught up in the streets. Sometimes you got to learn, and I'm not saying not to care, but sometimes you got to just let people do what they're going to do gotta let people do what they gotta do it's their life and then once i came to terms with these kind of things once i came to terms where you know you could tell somebody once hey listen man that's that's not a good look yo you shouldn't do that do the best you can but after that don't 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 kill yourself you know what i'm saying don't stop what you're doing trying to you know what i'm saying save somebody that don't want to be saved you know what i'm saying because everybody most of us know right from wrong some of us know what we do is not going to be good in the long run. But at the end of the day, who am I to judge, right? I can't judge nobody. I can't, you know, if that's what you do, that's what you do. But if I love you and I see you going down a slippery slope, I'm going to try to reach out and say, hey, yo, listen, maybe you should try to do it that way. But at this point, I learned in life, you got to let people do what they want to do. As long as it doesn't have an effect on you, let them do what the fuck they want to do. Because at the end of the day, people going to do what they want to do. No matter what you say. If their heart desires it, if their mind desires it, and it's beneficial for them at the moment, what can you tell them? You know, if especially if it's, let's say, they doing something and they making money, you can't tell them. Not to make money, right? You can't tell them, yo, you got to walk around here broke. You can try to give another solution, but people are gonna do what they wanna do. Everybody's not gonna get up and try to do it your way or the way you suggest. And I gotta live with that. You know, I, I gotta understand, right? And the terms that I had to come to is that you can't save everybody. You can't save everybody, Owen. You can't. You can try, but you're gonna waste your time, you're gonna waste your energy. You know, the best you could do is just say, hey, listen, you know, switch it up, do something. But like I said, people gonna do what they wanna do. And it ain't just me, cause I see it all the time. You know, I have friends that have brothers. I have friends that have sisters. I have friends that have cousins. I have friends, you know, that have relatives or even other friends that they try to save, you know, from drug habits, from, you know, hanging with the wrong crowd. You know, getting into certain activities is just non-kosher. You got to understand, man, those people going to do what they want. The only thing I just don't like is just that when you tell those people not to do something, not to swim in that, the problem is they're drowning and they want your help from the same that you told them not to swim in. That's the problem most of the times. There's a lot of times you can tell somebody, yo, don't do this, don't do that. And then they call you in, in, a, in, a, in a situation that you told them not to get into. And they need your help now or they need your advice that's just that's what kills me that's what that you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i know when i want to do something and my heart is set on it it's not too many people that can talk me out of it because nine times out of ten when i do something i really think it through i think of the consequences if it's a bad thing i think of the consequences what it what and cannot happen and most of the times right with my mentality which is kind of messed up sometimes i go into it thinking like okay the worst is gonna happen so if I make that decision I expect the worst to happen even though sometimes the best does happen but I always get prepared for the worst and the problem is a lot of people who don't listen don't get prepared for the worst you know what I'm saying and I'm just letting you know man you can't save everybody now these are one of the terms I have a problem or used to have a problem dealing with or coming to terms with just I can't save everybody I could I could love you you know, I could care. I could give you the criticism. I could tell you, hey, listen, it's not good. But, you know, that's what I had to deal with. This is what I got to deal with. Those are one of my terms that is hard for me to deal with sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, 
you know, let me know what y'all deal with. Let me know what goes on in your life. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? But it's just an interesting discussion, even in the comments, because we all had to come to terms or have to come to terms with something that we don't want to, but you just got to accept it. Once you do come to those terms and you understand that, you know, sometimes things are just going to be inevitable, then you feel a little different at the end. You know, you feel a little less stressed. And that's my thing, man. Life is too complicated to be stressed, especially over somebody else's doings. So at the end of the day, man, you know, you try, but just know, people gonna live their life. People gonna do what they wanna do, just like you are gonna do what you wanna do. Just like I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But if somebody really loves me, they're gonna stop me or try to talk something in my ear and say, hey, yo, that's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I know if I love you, I'm gonna to talk to you and say, yo, listen, that's not a good thing. Maybe you should switch it up because I see something going wrong. Now, I don't say that to everybody who's doing something because I already know certain things are built for certain people. You know what I'm saying? People could do certain things. Like, for example, you know, if I if I seen you selling dope and you didn't buy a business, or you didn't get a business, or you ain't do nothing, you just spend your money recklessly, I'ma tell you, yo, that, that game ain't for you, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That game ain't for you. Maybe you should switch it up a little bit because you're out here risking your life and you don't have nothing to show for it. You know what I'm saying? If I really love you as a dope dealer, I'm gonna tell you that. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes they might not wanna hear that because the reality is, is that you get into those type of games to get a business and get out. That's the real That's the real deal. This OG told me that you get in the game, you make enough to get a business and you get out of it. The problem is, is a lot of us get caught up in it. A lot of us get blinded by the material things. A lot of people are blinded by the cash that they make. So, in other words, this is what it is. You know, and, and, and some people, they'll take heed to that. They'll switch it up. I've had a couple of friends that be like, yo, you know what, you're right, man. I do need to switch it up because this is getting corny and I'm out here risking my life and my freedom for crumbs. And I have nothing to show for it. I don't want to put that negativity on it, but a lot of the people I knew that was doing that, especially back in the days, they bought cars, they bought houses, some bought businesses. You know, some continued to do it afterwards and some left it alone and said, all right, I got what I need to get. You know, just an example, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna tell that to everybody, you know, cause some people built for it, some people ain't, my opinion. But you can't save everybody. I can't save everybody. I don't know about you, but I know I can't save everybody and those are the terms I had to come to. You know what I'm saying? So, you can talk to me in the comments section. But I'm out of here. Peace out.